So welcome to COP28 on behalf of WMO and we have our own pavilion here together with IPCC and Mary Foundation. We just published our status of climate report for this year where we are showing that this year is going to be the warmest year on record. We have reached 1.4 degrees, so we are pretty close to the Paris 1.5 degrees limit. And we have also broken records in main greenhouse gas concentrations, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. We have doubled sea level rise and, and we have started seeing melting of Antarctic sea ice, which is a new, new feature. Again, we have re reached the lowest amount of uh, Antarctic sea ice you know, for, for the past, uh, past decades. And uh, here at WMO, from WMO side, we have three main uh, uh, initiatives for this uh, COP. Uh, we are promoting early warning services for all. Only half of our 193 members have proper early warning services in place, which means that uh, the natural disasters are having much bigger economic impact and uh, and, and, and also there are more human casualties because of uh, lack of, uh, of, uh, of proper early warning services. And we have to improve also the basic observing systems uh, to, to, to enhance the quality of, uh, of early uh, of, of forecasts and, uh, and also that's needed for, the, for our basic uh, understanding of climate and climate change in the, in the countries. Then uh, we have a new initiative called Global Greenhouse Gas Watch where we combine data from ground-based uh, stations around the world, from satellites uh, and from uh, we use models to simulate uh, how strong the sources and sinks of uh, carbon dioxide, and methane and nitrous oxide are, where we have uh, still scientific gaps in our understanding and that the global greenhouse gas watch would be a good uh, way to better understand uh, those behaviors and uh, it will be also highly important input for the future COP, uh, COP meetings and also for the IPCC reports. And then uh, we, we have also climate models which are used to estimate what's going to happen during the coming decades or even coming century. With the current climate models we can quite nicely estimate what's going to happen to the climatic uh, averages like temperatures, uh, precipitation, sea level rise and so forth. But we, are, we have difficulties in saying what's going to happen to the weather extremes during the coming decades or coming century. And there we would need uh, kilometer scale climate modeling and, uh, and our third initiative is related to uh, this uh, high resolution climate uh, modeling. And I would like to invite you to come to WMO uh, IPCC Mary Pavilion to, to hear plenty of uh, scientific uh, presentations and, uh, and learn uh, what the most recent science is uh, saying about uh, about the facts that we, we monitor or, or model in the in the real real atmosphere so welcome to the WMO pavilion and uh, it's a pleasure from WMO side to, to be here and 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 collaborate with many of you